All right, it's time for us to get this new Soundstream V2 radio installed. We're going to put it in a 2015 Rogue Glide today. So stick around and uh, we'll show you how to do it. Alright, let's start off with removing our windshield screws. This bike actually had some custom turn signals, so we used an 8th inch Allen head. Okay, now we're going to remove the windshield and finish taking out the Allen bolts to take off the window bucker. Now lightly lift up for the window collector to pop off. Disconnect turn signals. Now using a T25 Torx, remove just the lower interfering screws. Reach in and pop the mounts out for the bearing grills. Now using an Allen wrench, remove the turn signal bolts down below. Now with a T27 Torx, remove the black bolts right next to the speaker. Now you're able to remove the fairing. Try not to drop it. Remove all the connectors from the factory radio. With a T25 Torx, remove the bracket that holds the wind deflector into place. It will be reinstalled on the new radio. Now remove the four Allen bolts that hold the factory radio into place. We can now remove the stock radio. As a pre-production unit for our V2, it did not come with the little plastic bushings that go on the radio. So we're going to reuse the ones from the stock radio. Now it's time to grab your brand new Soundstream V2 radio and drop her in. Reinstall the little plastic bushings onto the factory radio bolts. Start putting all four of them in, but don't tighten them until all four are actually in their spot. All right, now to remove the switch cap, push down on the actual gauge bezel, turn the ignition to lock, and you can lift up the little plastic cap and it'll come right out. For the T25 Torx, remove the two side screws from the gauge pod. Now we're gonna run our microphone. Lift up on the gauge pod and fish the 3.5 millimeter aux end down through the gauge pod holder. Now with a fish tape, 
run the tape up through into the fairing. Now I taped the 3.5 millimeter aux cable end to my fish tape. Now just pull her through. Once you pull the entire cable through, bundle it up and secure it with zip ties. I secure the microphone to the handlebars just outside of the gauge face with a zip tie. Trim your zip tie with a pair of flush cut cutters and reinstall the gauge pod. Reinstall your two T25 Torx screws on the side of the gauges. And then by pushing down on the gauge face again, reinstall the ignition cap. At this time, go ahead and plug in the 3.5 millimeter jack into the cord coming out of the back of the radio. Start installing your T-harness and plug it into the radio. Now's when you'll locate your other wires for the Maestro and route them to a place that the maestro is going to fit. Make sure all of the connectors match in color to where you're plugging them in. Using some 3M double back tape, put some on the maestro itself so that when you tuck it up into place, it's not rattling around. I've already cleaned and prepped the area underneath the bracket so that my maestro stays firmly placed. Now you can plug in the rest of your connectors. This radio will reuse your GPS antenna, but also comes with the new one. I install that first, then the USB, which is the black one, and then the white one, which is your AM FM antenna.
Now you can start cleaning up your wires and affixing them into place in the zip ties. This will be for the satellite radio receiver if installed, but we're not using it today. Clean up the rest of the wiring on the other side of the bike. Now we'll reinstall the bracket on top of the radio with two T25 screws that holds the wind deflector on. Alright, it's time to put the fairing back on. Start by reinstalling the two T27 black screws next to your speakers. Now reinstall the lower inner screws, which are a T25 Torx. Reinstall the two Allen bolts for your turn signals. Make sure not to cross thread into the brass. Now I tighten up the two T27 bolts right by the speakers and start plugging my turn signals back in. Now it's time to reinstall the wind deflector. This will just pop into place. Okay, now start reinstalling your four windshield screws, making sure you don't cross thread them as the brass inserts get a little finicky sometimes. Now reinstall your windshield. And tighten up your four windshield screws. Make sure not to over tighten them as sometimes it can crack a windshield. Alright, now it's time to reinstall your speaker grills. They just pop right into place. Alright, so we just finished up the install on the 2015 Road Glide with the new Soundstream V2. As always, really simple to install. I like the way they did change a couple things. You now have the USB-C and the USB that came with your bike all in the, in the glove box, either on the Road Glide or on the Batwing fairing. 
Some of the first things we notice right off the bat is the much larger screen, really fast boot up, and even the volume is super responsive when you're going up and down. I really look forward to diving into this a little bit later on and checking out all the features and showing you in that video so you really understand the platform that this radio works off. If you get one, I'm sure you'll be more than happy that you did. Whoa, wait. Don't go anywhere until you like and subscribe to make sure you get notified every time we post our how-to videos, our product reviews, and all of our amazing interviews with your favorite racers and industry icons. I'll see you guys next time.